I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Ah, Skyrim. A game so good it's been released 17 times in 13 years. And while I do hold out hope that one day the Elder Scrolls 6 will be released, it's looking like it might be a long way off. So to cope with this, I'm going to play through Skyrim again, but with a ton of mods to keep things fresh. I thought about doing a challenge run with some difficulty mods, but the combat in this game is, uh, a little dated, to put it lightly. So after digging through a ton of hentai on Nexus mods, I settled on the idea of installing the 30 dumbest mods I could find and doing a playthrough. I'll be linking all mods shown in the video in the description down below. A lot of them are a lot of fun, so try them out for yourself. I started up my playthrough and everything was normal until... Unfortunate? The Crimes Against Nature mod adds a bunch of fun races with unique abilities that you can play as, and I'll be cycling through them throughout the run, so I'll spare you all the details for now. I went with the Ikea born and started off my adventure as Chairman. And the Imperials have no idea who I am, but they decide they're going to execute me anyway. But fate had other plans as the sound of hope went echoing through the sky. Uh-oh. <laughs> what in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the cloud. <laughs> oh my god. God has come to save me. Oh no. So in the cover of Thomas the Tank Engine's Grace, I decided to follow the storm cloaks and look for safety. It's the apocalypse! So naturally, after getting to safety, the Imperials started trying to kill me again, but Chairman was able to easily handle this. <laughs> See you later, Thomas. With Thomas gone for now, I decided to take the most generic path through Skyrim and go straight for Riverwood. Mama doesn't think I'm girlish enough. But that's just stupid girl talk. Papa may have wanted a son. Based. I can't remember when I last slept. Ah yes, when us I four there, normal people having a good conversation a child, about the dragon. We'd be dead. You fucking bitch! <laughs> run! <laughs> Don't fucking run away from me! You fucking bitch! Bruh. <laughs> What? <laughs> bruh, bruh. <laughs> After fighting some questionable wildlife, I made my way towards Whiterun to let the Jarl know about the danger of trains. Uh oh. <laughs> this is such a big improvement. This is a real god. They say there's nothing a Nord woman can't do if she puts her mind to it. Jesus. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? So before continuing on with the story, I decided to go pick up my fat Rufus idiot son, Rufus. Upon your world. We have your stupid son. You should probably go and get him. <laughs> oh no. I tell my servants bring tasty children. But to my disgust, they bring your horrible fat child. Once you rescue your fat idiot son, you are stuck with him. He is a permanent follower for the entire game. He's generally weak, makes a lot of annoying sounds, doesn't listen to anything you say, and constantly stares at you with that fat face and gaping mouth. Needless to say, this resulted in some child abuse. You were supposed to distract them. <laughs> Did he just spawn on
Goodbye, Rufus. Oh no. Rufus, attack! Just stop running, attack. Something exciting would happen. <laughs> Shut up, Rufus. Anyway, getting back to the main storyline, Yarl Balgruff sent me to Bleak Falls Barrow to retrieve something, so Rufus and I headed that way. Ugh. Walker face! Finish him off, Rufus. Frogger breath. <laughs> Food and rest. <laughs> His incessant, fat, ugly face staring at me. My mother says, if you see anything you want, take it. So my reward for retrieving that for them was to get to fight a dragon with Irelet. So after watching a bad Skyrim cutscene during which Rufus was staring at us the whole time, we made our way to fight our first train. Oh god. <laughs> no. We're all gonna die. After prevailing, I got my first shout. After returning to Balgruff and watching a cutscene that Rufus insisted on being in, he made me Thane of Whiterun and gave me a new follower. Aw oh yeah, the crew grows. I decided to do some general grinding after this to get my <laughs> level up. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, Lydia didn't last very long. Are they just fucking hacking on Rufus up here? <laughs> they are! At this point I discovered the cheese spell, which is pretty funny, but it's unfortunately overpowered so I dropped it shortly after discovering it, and I would only use it thereafter in quick save and kill situations if you know what I mean. Oh, oh, nice one, Rufus. Entire life without what are you, uttering a What are you holding word? in your hand? Can you even imagine? <laughs> She's just such a pro drinker. Her hand just makes that shape all the time. Rufus might not do much damage, but he's kind of overpowered in the sense that he draws aggro and is unkillable, so he makes a really good distraction in a lot of situations, and you can see that here. So, getting back to the story, the Greybeards have summoned me to High Rothgar, but not before running into this weirdo. <laughs> Anyway, I talk with the Greybeards and absorb some of their old man essence. Then they teach me how to fart so hard I propel myself forward.
That's all they had to teach me for now, and I went on my way with my new skills. But I would soon encounter one of my greatest foes. Oh my god, what is happening over here? Dear fucking lord! Turns out one of the mods I installed spawns random groups of Nazims, the snobbiest NPC in the game, and has them attack you, some of them even exploding. The Nazims proved to be a great nemesis for me for the rest of the playthrough. myself to death oh my god why do this why is there always one that fucking explodes <laughs> it's a full harambe tonight yeah boy so this I bitch took the horn that the graybeard sent me to go get and then some other cutscene stuff happened and eventually we come up with a plan to infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy. So we head towards Solitude, but I of course get distracted along the way. Rufus made an amazing distraction in this fight. They're literally just wailing on him over there while I shoot arrows from safety. I'm such a good father. I at least let him get the final hit in though. Ha! Rufus with the final hit! Yes, I am Dragonborn. How did you know? Need something? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. <laughs> I feel that, Malbord. Oh my body god, shut up, Malbord. Some of the mods I had installed were interfering with the arrival in the Thalmor Embassy, so I had heard Malborn say that a bunch of times and it was getting it was getting old. Yes, I <laughs> I am supposed to be in this party. You have to run, Rufus. This is your weight loss program. They invited me, a poor person, to a rich person party, so naturally I stole everything that wasn't bolted down. <laughs> you mean the pots are free? We can just take them? <laughs> uh, it's all free! I'm at least getting my money's worth! Yummy! What can I get for you? I must have it better myself. It is not time since I've had some news from Mr. Skyrim. What did you get for you? Okay, I'm ready. What can I get for you? What can I get for you, sir? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. I'm leaving nothing behind. I'm the only poor person here. If your eyes and your ears are open, and your mind is free of judgment and expectation, Ooh, free you basket. might learn much. Are you free too? I'll take you with me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm on duty. There's literally nothing left. I Please took it all. Everything <laughs> is splendid, thank you. There is none. I took it all, bitch. Please. After picking the party clean, I teamed up with good old boy Razalon to cause a scene and distract everyone. 
down from my nefarious deeds. <laughs> you could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty. <laughs> Stand back. And Razalon is a good old boy. Work. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our Miss. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Nothing could be more unlike. So we pulled off our elaborate plan, but apparently it was for nothing, because I still had to kill a bunch of the Thalmor anyway. God damn! <laughs> he's, he's shooting Rufus around like a hockey puck. <laughs> nice one, Rufus. So we killed a bunch of the darkies, and then we found out that some old dude who fights trains is still alive somewhere. So naturally, the objective became to find Esbern? him. He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. But of course, I got distracted and had to mess around with my spider powers. I got a little distracted, but I eventually started making my way towards Rift, where the old man was supposedly hiding out. But of course, there were many Nazims along the way. Why did they explode? Oh my god, Nazim, go away. Ah, oh, my guiding moonlight. You've been at my side this whole time. Ha, uh. ah, get deaded. Oh my god, Maul, fuck me in the ass. On guard. Vampire hunters or something. What? Surprise! I'm gonna eat well tonight, my I eventually found the old geezer hiding out in the sewers. How pathetic. I don't know what you're talking about. Filthy? You, Dragonborn, is it really true? Yes, I'm the spider that will save the world. <gasps> Esbern, I'm suing you. I'll see you in court. How dare you let my baby boy slip? Ha, Heffy the deaf, more like Heffy the dead. Ha, ha. We had to fight a few more darkies, but we eventually made it back to Delphi, and we decided we had to go to Skyview Temple. Feel fine. Uh, finally. So naturally, I did what any good Skyrim player would do and got into his Mazda RX-7 and drove there. Of course, there were many obstacles along the way. Oh no. <laughs> I killed all of them. Was that <laughs> Rufus? No. A new hand touches the beacon. Oh dear lord. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Thomas the Train. Oh look, 
the Nazim <laughs> It's a tiny little circlet. No. Not the fucking Nazim. Oh my god! Oh my god, they swim so fast! It was a long and arduous path, but I was eventually able to kill the blood dragon and make it into Skyview Temple. Good job, Del. Good distraction. Oh my god, he's immune to fire. What type of demigod have I sired? After Skyview, I ended up getting distracted with some dwarven ruins, but oh my god, there had to be probably 200 Nazims in this cave that's on screen now. Nazims in here. Oh, there's Rufus. No. 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 There's no fucking way. No way there's warm disease. Is someone there? Is someone there? Is someone there? Is someone there? I'm Nazim. There's about 500 Nazims in this cave. Oh look, there's some up there too. Crouch? No, he's just swimming! Rufus has become a deity. Kill them for me, Rufus, with your new deific powers. He's like still staying above the ground. He's become a god! After all the shit I've we, gone through in this cave, this really pissed me off. Good job, Scott. <laughs> Still going! 
So getting back on track with the story, I finally got to meet Parthernax, the leader of the Greybeards. Oh no. Cruza. As good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not... After so much dialogue, he eventually to points me towards the College of Winterhold, where I'll find more information on the Elder Scroll. But before that, I ended up killing the Seducer's Bandit and picking myself up a second invincible follower. I call him Buggo. After that, I made it to Winterhold and into the college. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. Man, the people the here are buttholes, and this oh lady God. is painfully slow. I had to resort to jumping on the bed to distract myself. After I finish showing you the grounds, talk faster. Oh my God! Eventually, I had enough and dealt with her. <laughs> now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you. Oh my god, look at him, look at the cheese! He looks so forlorn! <laughs> I am actually shocked and impressed that the game knew to just move on here after I had cheesed one of my classmates. What? I had a lot of pent up rage at this point, so I had to take it out on Rufus and the citizens of the Winterhold College. <laughs> Your cheese! Your cheese! <gasps> He's immune to cheese! He's the god of the next world! Hold on. Your cheese! And you guessed it. Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Talk faster, so, oh my saying, god. The first thing Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Horker face? Did you just call a horker a horker face? Think of better jokes. Now that this old fart has diverged the location of the Elder Scroll to me, he is no longer useful. Bogo apparently does do something in combat. So I went to the ruins like the old man said, killed a hobo, killed some dwarven robots, and made my way towards Blackreach, not before encountering a bunch of disease. <laughs> oh, one of them made it halfway through the gate. After much struggle, I finally made it to Blackreach. And under normal circumstances, there are two warring factions here, the Dwarven Robots and the Falmer. But now there's three, because the Nazims get thrown into the mix. I think Skyrim like six times. Oh no. This area had a particularly large amount of disease. Oh my god, where are they coming from? I just go around the corner, suddenly 30 Nazims appeared. You already lost. How did you tank that, Rufus? The pumping station, oh dear lord. Who the fuck are you? What do you need? 
Good afternoon. Hmm? How are you not Maybe awesome? Should've... Blackreach for a while and then solving a shitty Skyrim puzzle, I got the Elder Scroll. And of course, I got distracted again on the way back to Parthenax. Strike. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Fucking run! Where did you come from? Where? Where did you come from? So taking the Elder Scroll back to Parthenax, I got quite the funny cuts. What kind of sick dream is this? Why are you here? Oh my god, she's clipping it out of his face! Take on. <laughs> it's hilarious that Rufus has literally been transported into the past for a monumental moment in history, and all he can do is stare at me. What a loyal son. So I learned Dragon Ren from them, and then they have an epic fight with Alduin. <laughs> His psychic energy to just flip her around. I like how Rufus is still looking at me. Rufus took quite the beating, but we were eventually able to scare Alduin off. Him running away means we have to go find him, which gives rise to this glorious, classic Skyrim moment. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. A bunch of story stuff happened in between, but eventually Jarl Balgruff agreed to let me trap a train in his palace. So we trapped the train, but not before a casualty or two happened along the way. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> he eventually divulges that Alduin is in heaven, spawn camping the people that die and go there. But luckily, he's willing to take us there, so we get to experience the magic that is flying on a train. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the train model didn't follow us for the cut. So I've made it to the temple before heaven. Guess what the first thing I see inside is? Oh my god. Oh, there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, don't you run away. Come here, boy. Come here, give me that ass. Now that's a lot of 
damage. <laughs> Good job, Rufus. Many have braved the shadow. The world I don't want to talk to you, okay? I finally made it to Nord Heaven, but I have to fight Tall Boy before I'm allowed in. Luckily, though, Rufus was a god in this fight. Of course, meaning that he took the beating while I did the damage. At long last, our doom is now ours. The word. These NPCs were kind of buggy, but I eventually got them to come with me. For a hundred lifetimes, oh, my heart is burned Endless for revenge. So me, Rufus, and the three dead guys were off to fight Alduin, oh but first we had to fart away his cloud. Does his strength have no end? We've shouted. We've shouted twice. Calm down. Autistic children and adults alike is broken. And just like that, my journey of stupidity is over and the world is saved. Since you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Consider leaving a like on the video and subscribe for more nonsense like this. All the trains are free now. It's so beautiful. Other than the deafening toot toot every two seconds. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. <laughs> oh, that's a good one.